Good morning. My name is Julie and I'm from So Unique and I'd like to welcome you to day 22 of my August vlog. Um, today I'm just doing I'm just going to do a um, hot pot dinner for tonight so I'll be preparing that before I go out to work. Um, and then I've got to get some breakfast and I haven't even had a cup of tea yet so I'm <laughs> desperate for a cup of tea this morning. Um, things for today. I need to do a bit of work on the rag quilt. I want to try and get the the penguin, get the wings stitched and stuff, the feet stitched and stuff, the heart. Um, make sure the body's stitched and stuffed as well today. I'm not sure what else I'm doing, but uh, I'm sure I'll show you later. Okay, well I've got my hot pot on. I've browned some mince off and I've put some frozen onions in and I've got some kale in. Veggies are just leftovers today, it's the end of the week so I'm using them up. I've got some new potatoes, some carrots and some celery. So I'm just going to pop these in. some oops, tarragon bit of salt and I'm gonna put some frozen garlic in I usually put about two cubes in, that's enough. Give it a mix round. Right. I've got it set on high at the minute. And it will stay on that until I come in from work this afternoon. Right, I'm just going to go and mix up some more stock. Well, it's time for breakfast, so I've got a nice cup of Yorkshire tea and some porridge. I've just got maple syrup in it this morning. That should keep me going till lunchtime. This is my avocado stone. It's been in water now, I think probably about a month. And I noticed we have a root. That's better. Really exciting, can't wait for it to grow. Um, I'm making progress on the penguin today, uh, it's coming along nicely now. That's as far as I've got, it's actually looking like a penguin now. It's been pretty easy to do, the only thing I didn't like was the beat, that was, re that was really hard to stitch on, but yeah, it's coming along. Might be ready tonight as a finished object. So I've got one arm already stitched. I'm just doing the other one. And then I've got the heart to stitch. And I've just got the the, the arms to attach to the body and the heart to attach to the to the arms. So I'm really pleased with that.
Well, here he is. Penguin's all finished. I think he's turned out really well. I'm really pleased with him. I think the hardest part was actually putting the beak on because that was a bit fiddly. Um, but yeah, he looks okay. Um, that's the picture of him on the back. I think it looks a lot better stitched with the grey thread though than the red on the heart and the sort of rusty orange on the beak and the, the feet rather than the black. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. And I'm sure Adele will be pleased with it when she gets it for Christmas. Just got in from work so I've made a nice cup of Yorkshire tea. And the hot pot is doing really well. Oh, it smells amazing. So all I've got to do now is um, make an apple crumble. But I'm going to have my cup of tea first and catch up on some vlogs. Okay, so I'm making apple crumble now. I've got self-raising flour, butter and demerara sugar in here which I'm going to make into the crumble um, I've just stewed some cooking apples I've used about seven apples with demerara sugar because I like to cook my apples before I make the crumble so I'm just going to mix this all together now make a nice crumble and we're going to be having custard tonight. That's the crumble all made. There we go, that's all done. Now I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of sugar on top. There we go, and that's ready to go in the oven now. Right, I thought I'd share with you this book that I've got. It's Stitching with Beatrix Potter. I'm taking part in a Beatrix Potter swap and we've been given our swap partners and my swap partner likes Jemima Puddle Duck. But there's not a great deal of things out there um, for Beatrix Potter characters. There seems to be a lot for Peter Rabbit, but that's about it. So anyhow, yeah, I bought this book from... Um, I think it was new at Quilt Show, probably about two years ago, and it's just been sat on the shelf. So I thought I would have a go, and there's an applique design of Jemima Puddle Duck. I think we've got to make three handmade items, so I'm going to do that. And then there's um, some stitching uh, of Jemima Puddle Duck. And I'm not sure what I'm going to make at this minute but I picked this panel up off eBay. Now I think what I'm going to do because my partner's not actually got in touch with me 
to, the, to talk about things so I don't really know what our hobbies are and that so I've decided I'm going to use this as the main panel and use some of the other Beatrix Potter fabrics that I've got to make like um probably like a makeup bag like I said I don't know really what she's she's into and I can put some either floral fabric with it or some of the other Peter Rabbit um, fabric that I've got so that's one thing and I think the applique one I might make um, this wall art like put it in an embroidery hoop something like that and then the, the stitching one uh, I'm not sure I can't make up my mind what to make at the minute, but I'm sure I'll think of something. We don't have to post anything out until I think it's the second week of September. So I need to have a little bit of a think. But it's a lovely book, this. I love that quilt on the front, the hexes. That's really nice. And there's a few other projects in here as well. Um, so that looks nice. Let's have a look. Some like pinwheels there. And what else is there? And you get lots of patterns at the back. There's a an iron cover in here as well, which has got um, Mrs. Diggywinkle on. What is that? It looks nice. So I might have a go at that sometime. Look. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day now. Um, I've got a bit of sewing to do later, so you're not going to want to see that again because I'm working on my rag quilt. Uh, so I'd just like to say thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.